Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. And as you can see, there are some huge changes going on. So huge even, that you can't use your old save files anymore. So what exactly is going on? Well, the developers have changed the story massively. I am not sure how massively yet. I think they may have changed the entire story to a point where maybe nothing even remotely stays close. It might also just be the initial starting condition, since we do have a new intro for the game. But as you can see, your old versions, uh, I mean your old save files, do not work anymore. You cannot click on them, you cannot do anything with them. If you click on play and read more, you can get to an article on the Subnautica forums, where they do explain how you can, I think, transform your save files so you can keep them. But I'm not sure how to do that, so if you want to know about that, click on play and read more. Now let's go ahead and check out the new intro and the new story for Subnautica Below Zero. Okay, it suddenly seems to load a lot longer. I usually never had loading screens longer than 30 seconds, and now I'm at 116. And here we are. So, there's an alarm just like previously, but I don't think we are in the base anymore. Oh no, we definitely aren't. So, I think we're the Vesper. And there are some meteors coming in. Okay, remember this is a very early version. It will most likely get polished and look better in the final product. But yeah, it looks like we just came down from the Vesper. And we ran into a meteor. Of course we did. There are some other life pods up there. And we crash right here. That's some new music. Okay, and we're getting out of this ship. And... It disappeared. <laughs> okay, the the HUD looks new. We can pick up snow now. I think, yeah, they, they added snowballs. That's another thing. Um, there's a dev video of explosive snowballs. I have no idea why I'm supposed to go. I'll just follow this path down here. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely a whole other intro. Let's jump in the water to be safe. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a whole lot different. There's a supply drop. I think the entire... Yeah, the entire mountain facility... No, wait, there's the mountain facility. Okay, so that's not gone. It just drops our life pod right here now. Huh. Okay, interesting. So, apparently, we don't start on the planet anymore. We just start in the Vesper and come down here. Um, let me see if we have any new databank entries. <clears throat> life pod. Robin, log. Found the life pod. Is there anything better than being not cold and not wet? Being not on fire, I guess. Now I can die happy. But that's really not the point of the life pod. Ugh, listen to me. Maybe Cal was right. Anyway. Looking forward to moving on to some real work, so I can stop talking to myself. Interesting. Departure. Um, I can almost can't believe it. I'm actually doing this, heading to 4546B with little more than a napkin drawing of Sam's base to go by. But I need to know what happened to her. And she said she found something big. I have to know what it is. But everyone thinks I'm crazy doing this without a plan to get back. But Altera has a team down here. Had a team down here. They're bound to have left supplies I can use. Maybe this is the first time I've ever had faith in Altera. Maybe everyone is right about me. But the future is not behind me on Earth. I have to move forward. I need to do this. Landing was a bit rough, but I don't think Altera spotted me. The life pod deployed with ghost Gusto? I don't know what that word means. Once I track it down and get settled, I'll be able to get to work. If Sam left any traces, I'll find them. I'll start with that doodle she sent me. Ha! Huh, okay! So what I'm getting from this is, Sam was actually on 4546B before Robin. 
and she and the entire team on here disappeared. And we want to find our sister, of course, so we went here without Altera's permission. Since, you know, I don't think Altera spotted me. And I think we are just going to be on our own for the entire time, so no talking to our sister. I don't even think the Vesper explosion will happen anymore. Since, you know, it just happened when we get off, right? We went off the Vesper, I think. Is the Vesper anywhere? That's the question. I don't see the Vesper. Did they actually... Wait, what? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I need to... Um... I think they actually removed the Vesper. Yes. <laughs> they removed the Vesper. I can't believe they actually... Oh my god. Okay. So, if, you, if you're confused as to why they are changing the story now... When they wanted to release in 2020. Um, the story writer actually left the company because he wanted to work on small indie companies. And Unknown Worlds is definitely not a small indie company anymore. So they have a new story writer and I assume that he had a different vision for the game. Apparently we have a whole different story now. I'm currently a little confused. Why do we have 101 health and 100 health? Or is this our temperature meter? That might be our temperature meter. It updates when you go underwater. Yeah, okay, that is our temperature meter. Interesting. I'll go and check out the sanctuary and see if anything changed there. Okay, this is really screwed up right now. Might be because it teleported here, I'm not sure. But as far as I can tell, it seems to be the same. Let's see if that works. No, okay, still screwed up. Uh, th this is scary. Oh, okay, there's actually... A floor. Okay, cool. I could. I just can't see it. Human, turn back. Why? You were sent here to harness me. I will destroy you first. You're not sure of my intentions, are you? Afraid? Okay. This seems to be exactly the same. I came here. Maybe they just haven't gotten around to changing it. Since she says she came here because she's curious about their people, but she actually came here because her sister vanished now. So I just think they haven't updated this part yet. So I'm just checking out the map to see if everything is still kind of the same. Let's see what happened to our starter base. Okay, that still exists. There's just a layer of snow above it now. Okay. So this is all still here. They haven't removed this. Oh. But they have removed the entire interior, apparently. Yeah. Okay. So the base still exists, but there's nothing inside. Now, I'm curious. What do you think about these changes? Do you think they're interesting and it would make for an entirely new story and a better story than the ones we had previously? Or do you think it might not be a great idea to change the story so shortly before they actually wanted to release the game? Let me know down in the comments below. And I think that was already it again. Thank you very much to the Unknowns for helping me with this episode. If you guys want to get featured in an episode, let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything new I haven't covered yet in my Discord server. The link is in the description down below. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. And if you really liked it, then subscribe for news right when they come out. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>